my ex high school sweetheart with her drink. Did y'all ever have any high school sweethearts? Yeah, nah. a little two, a little two piece. I had girls that I would like. Well, I remember I was a freshman and I liked or I had a crush on a senior, but mm. damn, oh, sweet I crush. Remember, and nothing ever came out of it. I just looked at her through passing period, but. <laughs> Did she ever know that you? No. I remember I had a crush on a girl in my math class when we were freshmen. Our uh, seats got next to each other and I was like tripping. And then two weeks later, I see her in the hallway like some seniors dated him for the rest of the year. And I was like, damn. Damn. Yeah, yeah but I wish I could bring them to something like this and be like, well, look at it now. Mm-hmm. Look at me now. Uh, after we left high school, a lot of the people from my high school that I never thought even liked each other then are dating and mm -hmm. that doing things. Like, they're more high school sweethearts that aren't exes than I even knew. I ended up being with a bunch more girls that after we graduated, then I got with nobody when I was in high school. I had one girlfriend for about four months. Um, yeah, like people that didn't mess with you back then kind of like switched up a little bit after the fact. Mm -hmm. I was in middle school and there was a girl who I thought was very cute. We were in the same club together. What club? It was for a play. One of the main characters dropped out and then the teachers asked me if I could fill a role. They said, Ryan, you're like the best option. <laughs> I'm but, proud to call you a friend, Thank honestly. You. Appreciate that. Yeah. So that girl, I met whatever saw her. She went to a different high school, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I ended up smashing her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe three years out of high school. I was like, I did that. All the high school ones, I didn't get with anybody. I'm interested to see. Yeah, lucky to y'all. Mm -hmm. Things did your friends say about me when we dated? They would say like, you're a cheater. You don't treat me right. Mostly that you're just selfish. Damn, lesbians. Who are you two and how do you know each other? I'm Matthew. I'm Kay. My name is Erica. My name is Delvin. We're high school sweethearts. We dated for three years and then now we're just friends. Are you friends? Yes. Bro, you're not friends with your ex. Y'all friends with your exes? Nah, nah, I'm blocked. You can't be friends with someone that you were swapping DNA with. And what y'all talking about now? Hey, hey good, good to see ya. Happy for your new boyfriend. Hey, energetic kid. <laughs> The moment that one of them gets into a relationship, they're no longer gonna be friends anymore, I don't think. If you are balls deep in someone, they are no longer your friend. It's the toothpaste theory. Once a toothpaste comes out the tube, you can't put it back in. Sorry. Who broke up with who and why? You gotta be you brave to wear that me. shirt, honestly. Because, because you saw me as a brother. I actually avoided him for a month before actually breaking up with him. He broke up with me because I sent him a picture with my friend's brother with his arm around me or something, which was completely harmless. I felt like she intentionally sent it <laughs> to set me off. You broke up with me? Why? Well, uh, you were dating someone else. Oh, so was there cheating that happened? Yes. Ooh. You know how I found out about this too? I'm with a friend and she goes, you don't deserve people who make out with random people in bathrooms. Huh? It'd be the other friends that slightly give it away. Making out with other people in the bathroom. I don't think I could have brought that person on the show. That's too much. How do you even get your ex on the show? I go, oh, let me see if I can get on the show. Beep, beep, beep. The number of you reaches not a bit. I'm guessing this is all shot around cut area. Like you're not flying your ex out. Good. You drive down the block, knock on her door. Hey, want to participate in this video? <laughs> and tell Cut about how you cheated on me. You down type shit? <laughs> if we were to date now, do you think we would work out? Perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> We've like grown up together and we really like know each other. He's still mad at her. We are the least compatible out of everyone I've dated. Like really? the least com That's just what your horoscope says, bro. No, you what do you that? mean? You know, we obviously get along really well and we know each other. We live together and we argue. Huh? We do argue. A lot. So they live together right now? Is it weird living with each other? No. Not at all. What? We have a romantic friendship connection mm -hmm. where we're okay being like, doing those romantic things, going out on dates, holding hands. Huh? We sometimes kiss when we're drunk. Huh? But it feels like I'm kissing a family member. Huh? Wait! Whoa! What the fuck? Could someone clarify that? The exes live together. And they also say for fun, they go on romantic dates, cuddle, kiss if they're drunk. And they'll sometimes kiss or whatever, but, but it's not romantic at all. So it's like when you kiss a family member. Huh? What is that like? How, how you well, that would be incest. What <laughs> do you cuddle with your fucking sister? No. <laughs> Immature things that I do when we dated refused to tell your parents for like seven of the eight months. Yeah. I was under the impression that I wasn't allowed to date anyone. I didn't want to get in trouble. That's not surprising either. I've met your parents. Did you ever cheat? Oh shit. 
It's probably time to drink. <laughs> There's people who thought that you were with them when you were with me. I mean, why would you take a I shot? Take a shot. I'd take a shot because we disagree about this and I don't want to explain it <laughs> at all. So one night we were at a friend's house playing Truth or Dare and then um, like seven minutes in heaven. I went home, she stayed with the friend and like, you made out with her? But because it was a game, it wasn't cheating, right? <laughs> exactly. Describe the first time we had sex. It never happened. We did it! <laughs> wow! It happened with my husband, not Yay. with you. He never kissed me. I can see that. I'm not gonna date someone without kissing them, honestly. Do you think we've improved in the bedroom since we've dated? Yes. Yes, of course. When I had my first orgasm, it wasn't you. Then who was it? It was Daryl. Yo! Uh, what negative things did your friends say about me when we dated? They would say like, you're a cheater. You don't treat me right. Mostly that you're just selfish. Can y'all live together? Um, I don't think my friends said anything negative about you because my friends were also your friends. I think most people in the group tend to like you more than they liked me. I definitely remember after we broke up, just thinking like, I feel awful. I can't wait for somebody to ask me how I'm doing. And not one person ever did. Boo-hoo. She's gonna laugh. Do you remember what I look like naked? Describe it. <laughs> I saw you naked yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You used to have a really like bony waist. Mm -hmm. Like it used to just be like to put my hands on your waist. Wow, you're getting... And then further down the waist. She's still in love with him. I... Do you remember what I look like naked? <laughs> I never found out. This is something that you don't know about me, but um, I was sexually assaulted by a stranger when I was a really little kid. Whoa, whoa. I, I like coming out of that moment, like I was really little and the main thing that popped in my head was just like, I should be more careful, which has led to a lot of just anxiety over uh, not being fully clothed at all times. Bro. He thought that that was the best time to tell her when they were already dating. Doesn't they could have cut that part out. Well, I was about to go in on him. Can't. Now I really can't because okay. I was gonna say they didn't kiss, they didn't do nothing. And then what he said, they broke up and then no one checked if he was okay. Why would they? Y'all hey, didn't do nothing. Broken heart from what? You didn't have any emotional connection from kissing or nothing. You guys literally didn't do anything. You were quite literally best oh, buddies. Friends. That's probably why she broke up. She was like, he doesn't even like me. His mommy and daddy wouldn't even let him leave the house. <laughs> and then okay, he was assaulted as a kid. Oh, yeah. Okay, well if that's the case, go to your counseling, do whatever you need to do. You're not responsible for what happened to you, but now you're a grown, so you have to find a way to fight through that. No, just dump it all on Cut the Cut episode. Uh, that's it. Yeah. it. It's not your responsibility what happened to you, but it's your responsibility to get out of the situation you're in. Do you think someone like that is gonna do that though? Mm -hmm. That's why he sat there and said, you yeah, know, and said anything to me. You guys haven't technically shared any sort of actual intimacy that's technically your buddy yeah you guys had all the attributes of a buddy well their relationships different they just that's just how they operated theirs just because they don't have sex doesn't mean that they aren't a real couple all right then you think I've gotten better or worse looking since high school <laughs> I already know the answer bro I definitely peaked in high school it's all downhill from here I like you like in your grown man era like I like you a little thicker I like your beard you had such a baby face. You two are single? Uh, yeah. The way you look at each other. <laughs> are there still feelings here? I always love well, him. Well, yeah. I always love him. And she's always pretty. She's been pretty ever since, so. Oh. Cut director trying to instigate yeah. something. Have you ever considered getting back together? I mean, if we're not with someone in 10 years or whatever, then we'll probably just get married. But nothing like we would have girlfriends on the side. Like the last time we seriously thought about it is when I had broken up with my baby's dad, which was three years ago now, but um, he wasn't ready. But you had a kid with him. What did our relationship teach you? It definitely just taught me like, if you need something, say it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because as much as I like to like tease you about the fact that you never kissed me, that was something I very much wanted that I never told you. So they sorry. both didn't communicate with each other. What the fuck are they talking about? Because as much as I like to like tease you about the fact that you never kissed me, that was something I very much wanted that I never told you. Kissing? Pick it, pick Kiss? those hints up. Anyways, like she's saying all those times I told you. It's taught me a lot about what I want, what I don't want in myself, mm -hmm. how to go into my next relationship and not put my insecurities and trauma or whatever that is on other people. Do you still love me? As a friend, yeah. I'd agree on that. I still have a lot of platonic love for you. Nice. And it meant so much to me that you were at our wedding. Wait, he went to the wedding? Oh, that's oh. disrespectful. Oh, fuck. 
it meant so much to me that you were at our wedding. He did not pull up to the wedding. So girl, you never kiss. You have to watch her kiss her new love of her life. He was just in the back watching. Congrats. I used to date her. <laughs> Congratulations for you too. Nobody still asked me how I felt since we broke up. <laughs> I mean, the sad thing is you, you look at him again. He had a rough yeah. incident when he was younger. You don't want to be this guy. The guy that never ended up kissing his girlfriend, <laughs> never did anything, went to the wedding of the new guy that's banging her. It meant so much that you came to my wedding. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's just good to see you guys. You're banging her now? Yeah, I never got to. Good to see you guys. <laughs> Do you still love me? I love you so much. Uh, I mean, in a friend way, but I still love you today. What? I love you so much. I love you so much too. Of course I love you. Are you still in love with me? Oh. He's still convinced that one day it might work out. Yeah, I, I feel bad. I always end up roasting people and it's like, ah, I'm sorry. I just want to give Matthew a long, long hug. My boy does not deserve any of that shit. When the guy with the glasses said, after we broke up, I feel awful. I can't wait for one person to ask me how I'm feeling, blah, blah, blah. I totally felt that because I've been in the same place. I know what it, it feels like shit. I have little faith in relationships nowadays. With the invent of the internet and dating apps, Instagram, certain people's standards are through the roof. I think we're doomed, low key. There's someone for everyone. That's what I believe. I love love, but I just don't think. I think only a certain amount of people get that person. Like, I don't think that guy with the red hair, I don't think he'll ever find someone. <laughs> after all that, after the breakup, he still went to the wedding. It's like, I almost want what's best for him. That's why I'm like trying to yeah, piece you want things to... out. And I'm I... like, bro, come on, bro, don't do that. When y'all were in high school, had your sweetheart, whatever. I'm assuming y'all had those those nights where you on FaceTime the whole night. Yeah, yeah, love yeah. and shit. There ain't nothing else to do. Isn't that crazy? Like, you spend a lot of time with people. They were at one point your best friend. Literally, all my friends in high school school like I probably only talked to a few it's weird we always like chase for these moments they won't hold on to forever but everything's gonna come and go regardless I look at my life in chapters like damn that was a good chapter I met XYZ we had a great time now they're gone forever it's great to look back at the fun stuff in high school but I don't want those to be the only highlight reels of my life if Get you're older. not getting those and you're only reminiscing and you're stuck in the past that's not good either so <laughs> most people I think peak in high school is because everything's given to you in high school yeah. you get the clubs you're around like like-minded kids your same age, sports, fun sports, everyone's cheering for you, admiration. And then you get to college, and even it's the same type of shit. So yeah. you get to do it in high school, you cannot do it in college. And then you graduate college, and, and most changes. people's life goes fucking downhill. Because during it, you're almost stuck in autopilot. During school, yeah, you're just going to practice, talking, hanging out with your friends. Before you know it, it's like you have no practice, you have no club to go to, your friends are busy working and having kids, then you're at your ex's wedding. Talking about some happy for y'all. Adulthood, you have to fight for your happiness. It's handed to you when you're younger. Adulthood, every day. You gotta keep making those chapters, going through those chapters, keep reading the pages, you gotta mm -hmm. keep going. And don't reread the other chapters, reminiscent. Now you gonna finish the book. But the book will end one day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs>